What's up, everybody? It's me, Feather. Welcome to Feathered Leo Tarot, where it's Leo here all the time, and it doesn't matter where it's at in your chart or if you're a cross watcher. Welcome, everybody. I'm Feather. I'm a life coach. I pull tarot cards. We talk about a situation, and I give you advice. Uh, sometimes my opinion, but I am who I am. I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I am Big Sister Feather. Come on in. Let's hang out. Welcome, welcome back. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, your donations of love, requests for reads. We're chilling and chatting today. We're going to talk about what the actual F is going on in this specific situation. Please remember, please remember that my messages tend to be a little heavy, and that's okay. It's okay. Tend to be a little heavy. It may or may not resonate. That's okay. Give me just a second. Make sure that everything is streaming okay. All right. Look, everything looks good. All right, cool. So, let's jump into it. Shall we, Leos? What is that? <sighs> Go away. This. I don't know about y'all, but if y'all have. If y'all still deal with PCs and stuff popping up all the time. Not pop ups like crazy stuff, but it's like, oh, hey, you need to run your virus stuff and you need to okay so leo you got a lot going on you got a lot going on so you may be busy focused on something or someone it's like you get you can't focus on one thing as you're trying to get one thing done or you're all over the place you got all kinds of stuff going on what in the world mm -mm. we're gonna have to break out a new deck or a deck that's under here somewhere because fred is like no. Where are you taking me? All right. Tattoo Tarot. What's up, Linus? Hey, beautiful. Yep. This is so nobody can tell I'm out in my yard when I'm out in my yard. Actually, <sighs> camouflage and black. You can't tell I'm, you can't tell how dirty I am. <laughs> you can't tell, tell how dirty I am if I'm working in the yard. All right, Leo, see if that pops back out. Got a lot going on, Leo. What What's up in the numerology? Oh, yeah. It's like you're tying up loose ends. You got a lot of, like, fine-tuning. So, I don't know if you're... Somebody I just heard planning a wedding. So, maybe you're, like, a, an event or wedding planner or something like that. It's, like, just a, a few things in different areas. And you're just wrapping up those loose ends got a lot of new beginnings on their way in for you, okay? So, if you've got laundry to do, go throw it in the dryer. If it's in the dryer, fluff it and then go fold it and put it away. It's like there's like one or two things hanging out all over the place in different areas of your life. What's up? Okay. So, you may be a mom or a dad. You may, you may have small children at home. That kind of stuff. But I, I love this. We've got the Page of Cups or the Knave of Cups, right? And the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you got a lot going on at home. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So, again, this could be mom, dad, children, kind of family situations. Got a lot going on. But right now, it's like love may be taking a backseat to your family and to you know, what you've got going on right now. Let's see what this is involving. Okay. You may have gone through a breakup. Damn, but you're not going anywhere. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. Okay, there that, that Nine of Wands is in reverse back out again. So, you're you're not wanting to deal with love right now. It's like, 
maybe you went through a breakup. Maybe you're pulling your love energy back and really focusing more on yourself, self-love and focusing on your children and your home life and really what's, what's important for you, what makes you happy. Okay. I love that because what happens when you're focusing on self-love and not really focused on anyone specifically, love walks in, right? Love walks in the door. So you may have went through a breakup. You've definitely had some sort of tower moment. The dust is settling. But I don't see that you're really moving. It's like you're just letting the dust settle on whatever ended or whatever has happened here. So you may have had a recent epiphany where you were like, you know what, I'm, I'm just not really putting enough into myself. Maybe I need more self-care. Maybe I need to love myself more. Maybe I need to you know, get a new outfit. Maybe I need to go to the spa. Maybe I need to take a vacation. Maybe I just really need to focus on my own home, my children. What makes me happy? Thanks, Fred. What makes me happy? Because a 10 of cups does not have to involve anyone else. The nine of cups is what makes you emotionally satisfied. The 10 of cups is like, you're set with your environment, your friends, your family, and what you've got going on in your life. For the long term, you're like, yeah, you know, if it happens, it happens with another person. Cool. But I'm good. On my, I'm good on my own right where I'm at with what I got going on. Because I see that whatever happened here recently or maybe uh, between now and last Scorpio season, you're not feeling it. You weren't feeling it. You weren't feeling an, an equal exchange. It's like. Things weren't balancing out in a connection, maybe even financially. So you're like, you know what? Let's put love on pause right now. Really focus on budget. Let's focus on home life. Let's focus on really improving my life for the long term. Because, you know, even if I have love in my life, it's not, it's not about someone else. It's about what I can do to improve my life long term. You're really focusing on that. And that's, that's freaking royalty energy. That's beautiful energy, male or female. You know, really focusing on your 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 appearance and and feeling better and feeling good and eating better and you know, taking care of those loose ends that need to be tied up. What's up, red beard? So, some of you may have. Uh, oh boy. Some of you may be going through a divorce or may have gone through a divorce or you may be starting a divorce, something like that. But it's like <sighs> legal issues, documentation. So if you have documents and legal issues and things like that that need to be addressed, handle your ish. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you're not leaving anything left undone. You know, make sure that you're getting your paperwork done. Make sure that you're signing your leases and your, it's like, don't, don't fail yourself here so I feel like you're really trying to regain your own personal balance here maybe since a divorce maybe since a breakup something happened here so you're just trying to regain your balance and do the right thing for yourself and maybe even your children or or whatever like that but I think that kind of love is on pause right now while you're addressing things in your life you know, beautifying your home, going through and purging things that need to be purged and just, you know, cleaning up, clearing up, doing your spring cleaning, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, for those of us in, in North America. Miss Colleen, how are you doing, beauty? So let's, let's talk about this justice here. Could be dealing with Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio Strong. Yeah, it's like, you know what, you're really trying to, you're really trying to make a name for yourself or improve your life here. Maybe you're preparing yourself for a new adventure, a new journey. Maybe you're preparing yourself for a trip or travels, that kind of stuff, or relocation. Uh, maybe even success. Some of you, it's just new opportunities and new beginnings in different areas. So you're really just trying to tie up loose ends, right? Some of you, this could be paperwork and things like that. Again, 
um, that really need to be addressed so that you can finish, so that you can make those plans. But you're really not interested any, in anybody other than you and what you've got going on around you. You're like, if they're not in my life and they're not a part of you to my life, that's fine. They're not getting my energy. So you may be talking to people or, or dating people, but you're really not letting anybody inside your bubble. You know, you're like, maybe just a little bit, I'll talk to you. You know, I care. I'll talk to you, but you're not getting, you're not getting my full energy. The, that is reserved for me. So you're really, uh, got Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, and Aquarius energy here. Like you're really shutting things down here. So this could be a relationship that you're ending, wrapping up. You're wrapping up an old cycle and beginning a new cycle. It's either in a relationship or in employment. It could be in all sorts of things. Like, I really want to do what's right for me. And doing what's right for me, maybe moving. Maybe starting a new relationship. Maybe just going out on your own and just enjoying life for a while. You know, lightening the energy and just feeling feeling good about life. And, you know, I washed it. Redbeard says, did you do something different to your hair? Or did you do something to your hair? You look different. Yeah, I washed it. It's growing. It's growing, but... You know, getting out in the sun, it's lightening up because I'm out in the sun. It's, mm -hmm. A lot of sweat. Mm -hmm. A lot of sweat. <laughs> Dirt and sweat. That's what I've been doing and I washed it. <laughs> but thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, man. I like this energy because you're not focusing so much on relationship that you're forgetting about yourself. You're you're actually saying the total opposite. You're you're swinging you're swinging a different way energetically. You know what I'm saying? Instead of a lot of people that I coach, a lot of readings that I do, it's all about them, them, them. You know, when are they coming back? When are they returning? When it, you're like. You show up, you show up. I've already got a 10 cups going on. You just got to show up. Who shows up? I don't know. But you're you're not letting anything hold you back here. Six of Wands is success and, and new adventures. New opportunities, new adventures. This could be new jobs. This could be relocation, vacations. You're like, I'm getting straight. I'm getting right. Oh, I did change my part. My part is on the opposite side other than, you know, it does its own thing. I wash it and it does its own thing. But it, it the part is on a different side today. But thank you for noticing. I expected... That I, I really like this reading. Because you're like, you know, you're shutting it down. You're like... You know, I may have been waiting for somebody. Maybe you've been waiting for some sort of communication and that communication didn't come through. Uh-huh. That's true for somebody here. You've been waiting for some sort of communication from a distance. And from a distance, the world looks... Whatever. Uh, Bette Midler. Um, Fievel goes west. I, I don't know what, where what... So many things going on all at once in your mind and in your life. And it's like this, 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 this. Like, look, look, we need to categorize, organize, put a list together and get shit done. Okay? Because you're like all over the place. Not that you're not getting it done. Organized chaos. But it's like the ultimate here is doing what's best for you. Doing what is right what you feel justified in doing. And there are some of you that have been waiting for some sort of communication from a distance. And this person is not coming back to, they're not coming back to FaceTime. They're not coming back to reconcile or reunite. They're not coming back. And you're just like, you know what? 
You may have found out that this person was in another connection. You may have uh, been waiting for somebody that puts you as a third party and you're just like, you know what? I'll be successful and I'll get attention elsewhere. It's time to move on. I like that energy. That is self-love. So you may be retracting your energy as far as your heart space from this, that connection. What is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody ghosted or you are separated from this person. This could be separated by distance. Uh, this may be a friend of yours. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. Doesn't have to be, but it's like you may care about this person. This person may be a friend. You may have been waiting for an apology or some sort of message that says this person cares about you. And they're they're not showing up. Some of you may have worked with this person or you may have been in a working relationship with this person. Some of you, you, you may have been working out with this person, whatever that means. I don't want to know. Maybe gym working out, gym membership, something. Anyway, at some point, it was a separation. The tower moment was either they ghosted you or you went through a total and complete separation with this person. Like there was a full on breakup. It just, it did not work out. Um, there weren't equal parts being played in. There was, there's a six of coins reverse and an eight of coins reverse. Didn't work out. There was not equal give to the situation, especially if this was a distance relationship or something like that. There's definitely an emotional distance or geographical distance or both. Um, but I think that you just kind of waited for this person to return. I think you've just been kind of sitting here taking care of you, doing your thing and waiting for somebody to return. And they they didn't return. So you're doing what's best for yourself right now. That was the tower moment in shutting it down you're saying this chapter of my life is closed um the page of coins I, I believe you wanted this to be your long-term everything yeah you were waiting on um and it's been a while you've been waiting for a while we have libra and sagittarius you've been waiting for this person to show up with some love in their pocket for you an apology, some sort of something to add to your Ten of Cups already. You're already good. You're great on your own. You were just waiting for this person to show up. And they haven't. There's no emotional bonding here. You may care about each other, but I, I don't, I think that more than anything... You've been very patient, really taking care of yourself, tying up loose ends, getting ish done around your home and in your life. And you're like, you know, if they show up, they show up. If not, okay. But at this point, you're saying, I've had enough of five cups. I've had enough of this disappointment. I've had enough of unfulfilled cups. I I can do this on my own. And, and in all honesty, I'd rather do it on my own than continue to wait patiently for somebody that's that's not even trying. They're not showing up. They're not efforting. They're not even trying. If there's communication, great. But they're not efforting in the 3D. They're not showing up. There's no equal give and take. There's no equal effort. There's, I don't even think there's effort at all. You know, this person may like your attention. So you wait for this person to say something to you and then you get together. Um, they get your attention and then y'all have, have a little bit of fun or hang out or whatever that is. And then, and then you're back to doing whatever you need to do in life and they're off and doing their own thing again. I don't like that energy because the five of coins and the five of, of cups say that you're not only distressed. And let, let me put this. Let me put it like this. Hold on just a sec. I feel, I feel short. 
I gotta pull up my camera. Okay. Let me put it like this. I'm, I'm having to crouch down and I, I don't like that. I want to sit up straight. And my camera was like really aimed downwards. I don't know why. Whatever. Okay. So sitting up straight and tall, you know, spine. This, let me put it to you like this. You are great on your own with or without anybody else. You know how to make yourself happy. You know how to take care of yourself, take care of your family, your friends, your environment. You're, you're, you're great. You're very nurturing and loving in that way. Um, you may be involved in your community. You may be very in, intuitive and very psychic. You may just be very like, hey, everybody's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. When I'm happy, everybody's happy. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. But when it comes to this person, there is a disconnect. There's a big gap between you and this person. And I say that because a five of coins and a five of pentacles, or five of coins and a five of cups says that when it comes to this person, nah, they, you feel more alive and you are in, and you enjoy yourself more when you're not with this person. This person kind of drags you down. If they're not ghosting you and leaving you wondering what the F, your energy feels more neglected in the 3D and emotionally from this person. You're great, but you're barely getting anything from this person, if at all. And you're saying, you know what? <laughs> I got to do what's best for me. And I... And you've ta you're taking your time and you're saying, I'd rather be at peace with my decision, head and heart decision made from a balanced, mature, emotional space says, I can love this person from a distance, but I really love myself more. And I love myself to the point where this, it's like, um, <laughs> Fred, Fred is showing me like a, I don't know something on your foot. What do you call that? Like a boil or uh, I, I don't want to vomit because if I start thinking about, I'm a clinical laboratory scientist y'all. So what we get aspirations or th liquids in the fluids that uh, we have, we have to analyze what the liquids in the fluids that come out of the body. Okay. I will get, I will get sick if I, that's why I didn't become a nurse. I can't think about the actual visual of it or I'll get sick when it's in a little tube or a little test tube or something. It's, it's, it's cute. I'm looking at the tube. I'm not thinking about where it came from and all that stuff. I'm thinking about analyzing it. There's uh, like, like this person is a festering. Oh God. I don't want to say these words. Fredish. Listen, there's like, they're like an addition to you. But they're more of a problem than they are a solution. Okay? How do I put this? This person on you, amazing, beautiful you, male or female, this person is like a callus on your foot or a boil on your foot or a blister on your foot. Um, they're there, but they're more of a hindrance and a bother than they are helping or a solution or providing any kind of support emotionally or in the physical. Does that make sense? Please, please, Jesus, <laughs> please universe. Let that make sense. Somebody thumbs up. Somebody say something in chat and you get what I'm saying to you. And you're saying I'm, I am justified because I do not feel at all. Like this is my person. Uh, I feel, uh, I feel like I have more on my own and I'm more fulfilled on my own in my own little world, doing my own little thing than involving myself with this person. They, they bring me down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're about to take some action on this. If you haven't already, you're ready for new, you're ready for new adventures. You're ready to shut this down. Okay. A thorn in the side. I don't think it's painful, but yeah, a thorn in the side. Same thing. It's there. 
It's more like a tick. Mm -hmm. Like a leech. They deplete you in some way. But unless you know they're there, they're taking from you. You know, they're, they're, they're siphoning from you. So, I know that's gross and I, I apologize. Fred, I'm Feather and welcome to the show. You never know what you're going to get from me, okay? So, you're making a very strong decision uh, based on based on your feeling. Not so much on logic. You're kind of saying here, Feather, um, you're, you're, you're basically saying here, look, it's time to take action. I know I'm attractive. I know I get attention. I know I get things done. I'm a doer, a beer. I get things done and I will get attention and I will get what I want eventually. Maybe not now, but eventually. Maybe not this person, but maybe the next one. I don't know. And that's okay. And that's a great energy to be in. When you say, you know what, I feel completely depleted by this person. I, I really, they don't deplete me because I am whole and complete, alone within self, me and my life. But I feel a, an energy loss when I'm with this person, especially emotionally, just not feeling it. I'm not fulfilled here. I don't feel invested. I, I don't feel that. No, you're not feeling it. Um, and so it's like you're not hearing it and you're not feeling it from this person. It's like you're not getting it from this person. You're not vibing with this person energetically. So you're about to take action and take control of the situation. Okay. And, and you're doing it. So some of you may be asking for a divorce. Some of you may be going through a divorce. Some of you may be uh, going through a separation. This is you making the decision here that uh, you, you're ready to, to sever the ties here if they're not already severed. You're just like, I'm done with this. And I, I am justified because there's no, there's no feeling here. <coughs> and you as a queen of cups, I'm sorry. You can deal with a page of cups. You can deal with somebody who has a little bit of emotion, but you're talking about somebody who they're not even trying. They may have, they may, they may, it's just like, it's just a friend or you say he's just a friend, but it's not even friendship. There's the three cups here. Three cups means that it's not even basic emotional connection. Maybe friendship <clears throat> maybe a little bit of communication that says hey I like you <clears throat> that's true for somebody it's like I like you but not enough to actually effort I want I, I just for somebody like you as a queen of cups male or female you want your you want it you want a ten of cups you're like I can work with you but I think you've had enough time with this person and to know that this is not. So maybe you're dating this person or maybe, like I said, maybe you're married to them uh, or you're going through a divorce and it's like, it's got, it's got to go. And I'm justified in closing this down. It's doing what's right for me. So you're, you're, you're saying I'm, I'm going based on my feeling here. I'm not sure you've lost that loving feeling. No, I think that you're a very loving individual, but I, I don't think you've ever felt that loving feeling with this person. You know what I mean? It's like maybe you were trying to date them or trying to balance things out, maybe trying to reconcile, maybe trying to rebuild. Um, and, and it's just like, eh, you know, I got to let this go. It's not working out for me. The three cups aren't there. It's like, this This isn't even friendship. It's not even basic cooperation emotionally. Like, does this person ever ask you how you're doing, how your day was? It's pretty 
fucking pathetic, to be honest with you. And I don't like it. And I'm I'm like the Chef Ramsay of tarot right now. I'm sorry. That it's just true. I love Chef Ramsay, y'all. Seriously. But I'm I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. Like, if it sucks, it sucks. And this sucks. Yeah. So you're in a relationship, dating somebody, you're married to somebody, or living with somebody who's just not, it, it ain't there. And that is a fucking truth. You're just wanting somebody to work with you. Like, really? Like, can, can I just get somebody to cooperate and to effort? No? Can I just get some effort? Can I get a, get a little bit of try? Can I get a little bit? That's the truth here. Your truth is, you're saying to me, I just want a little effort. Can I get some effort? Can I get something from you? Can you, can you try just a little? No. So you're in a relationship or you're trying or you're dating somebody, whatever a relationship is for you and this person, there is a structure there. Marriage, friendship, whatever that relationship title is for you and this person. Yes, there is, is it is there, but there's no loyalty. There's total stagnancy. The Six of Pentacles, again, nothing is moving. Nothing is improving. The Ten of Coins is reversed. There's really, there's no support. There's no support in the 3D. Like, there's no blending. There's there's no blending here. So, oh, are you are you and this person saying you're in a relationship, but you're not actually relationshiping together? Because I think your idea of a relationship may be totally opposite of theirs. We're gonna look at that in just a sec. This is totally stressful because you don't feel like you could trust this person, or there's no actual commitment here there's nothing improving there's no leveling up the truth is you're ready to set yourself free from this and you the truth is you just want a little effort maybe you're in the process of trying to ask this person or you may be asking this person very soon what's up perry very soon you may have a conversation about whether or not this is going to balance out if this can balance out or you can it's like I care about you. Um, I'm not sure this is going to work out unless there's more effort. And if there's nothing coming from this person, they're showing up in reverse in the pentacles. They're not trying to blend or bond. The ten of coins could be a divorce, could be a breakup, could be moving out, relocating, that kind of stuff. Um... But the Ten of Coins, to me, is like, uh, some of you may be in a relationship with somebody who's married or in another relationship, too. I hope not, but it happens. So, um, self-love is very important. Make sure you're, you're not doing stupid shit. Don't do stupid shit. If somebody's married, what do you expect to get from that? And to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? You could be dealing with a married person, um, but they're not giving you anything in return. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing with them? Just hanging out with them every now and then? No, it's not a fucking relationship. Y'all need to get serious. Again, I'm Chef Ramsey of Tarot. I am Feather. Hello and welcome. Like, share, subscribe. Um, the Ten of Coins is when you bond and blend with someone else. This is like... You have kids, they have kids, or y'all decide to have kids together. This is when you're moving in together. This is when you're improving your lives and starting to blend and actually combine your lives together for the long term. You know, 401ks, having the shared, the shared bank accounts and the, uh, and, and the driveway. You share the driveway. You share responsibilities, that kind of thing. That's what most of you are wanting. You're not getting that from this person. And I'm so sorry, but that is, that is, whew. 
It's like they got no give a fuck. Why is there no actual effort here from this person? And that's all you're wanting is like effort. Man, this is like you've been married forever and and you're not getting anything. You know what I'm saying? They say they choose you. You know, they're not they're not stressed about it. There's no question in their mind. They choose you, but they're not hi they're not hiding anything. So if you if you're dating this person or in a relationship with this person and you know they're married, you know, you know they're married or in another connection. That's for some of you. Others of you, you know that they'll have sex with you, but they don't want a relationship with you. You already know that this person has no problem putting out the peen or the veen, the vin, the peen and the vin, what vag, whatever, the P and the V. Um, they have no problem with the passion, but they may, they, they, it's like they don't want, they don't want to be responsible for an actual relationship. So this is a person who does not want to, even though they may say they're in a relationship, they're not, they're not doing anything. So it's like this person's not hiding anything. They're telling you exactly who they are. They'll have sex with you and, and do things with you. Uh, it burns hot and then it goes cold real quick because they're not actually there for a long term. Yeah, there's the, the Ace of Cups reversed. Yep, that's what the conflict is. They don't want to open their heart space to you. They are guarded when it comes to a Ten of Pentacles. They're blocking it. So... For those of you that are dating somebody that's married, they're protecting that connection. Others of you, their heart space is blocked and they're not interested in the Ten of Pentacles. They'll be in a relationship with you, but it's like their idea of relationships totally different from yours. So can you, can you be with this person long term? That's up to you. I don't see that you're getting emotion from this person or support from this person. No kind of responsibility for a Ten of Pentacles. So, again, some of you may be going through a breakup or a divorce. You're making that decision because you just it's like there's nothing happening here. Maybe, maybe some sex, maybe some sexy talk or some sexy chat, some sexting, maybe a little physical touch every now and then, maybe a hangout here and there. There's no fucking thing else happening here. This is absolutely boring to me. It's basic and it's boring. And it's not pleasing to you. That's why you're feeling neglected. They're the five of pentacles and the five of cups. So you're saying you are justified by shutting this shit down and moving on. You've seen the light. And part of this decision is loving yourself and you're ready to move on. Okay? Okay. Any further advice in regards to this situation for my lovely Leos? So the challenge, it, a lot of you don't want to have to deal with this situation. Yeah, that's why you're hanging on. You, you don't want to have to deal with, with letting go of this person. That's the, that's the here and now of it all. You don't want to have to have that conversation. So some of you may not be communicating with this person. You've just been waiting for a reconciliation. It's not happening. You're shutting it down. For others of you, you've been holding on to this relationship, really trying to make it work, really hoping that it would work out, loving this person, but doing really well for yourself and really kind of seeing the separation lines between you and this person. You're saying it's not, I mean, not that you haven't thought about it a lot, it's more of a feeling I get where you're just like, I feel the total disconnect and separation. I feel the separation. So even if you are dating this person or in a relationship or living with them, this is almost like you've been married for 20, 25 years and there's just a total disconnect. Like, you know, you do you and they do them. It's a him and hers kind of life. But it doesn't, it doesn't combine. It doesn't, it doesn't blend. You're not blending. You're not bonding. Um, it's more of sexy times and, and passion. But I don't see anything else happening here. I'm sorry. If it was your reading, it was your reading. If not, cool, don't force it to fit. 
but that's the hangback. That's what you're contemplating. That's what the stagnancy is. Is you, it, I believe that you're unhappy um, emotionally. You already know it. You know exactly what's going on here. But there's there's something in you that is saying that there's. You may have a problem standing up for yourself. You may not want to have to deal with the conflict. You may not want to deal with the arguments or the fights when you separate yourself from this person. You're like, you know what? Ugh. Some of you may not even be talking to this person, but you're still holding on energetically. Yeah. That is the truth. So <clears throat> a lot of you... You may not be talking to this person or you may be living with this person, going through a divorce or you've already divorced this person or you're separated from this person or maybe even you're dating this person. Your your heart is not affected here. That's what that's what I'm like, wow, you know, you feel like you're justified in shutting this down and going and moving on, relocating, moving out, whatever it is. Your heart is not affected anymore. If, you, if there was a breakup or if there was any kind of hurt or pain, you've healed through that. Okay? But energetically, you're still holding on to this person. But you, even though you're holding on to this person or you're still there or whatever it is, your heart's not in it. And you're an extremely emotionally loving person. Big, beautiful heart. And you're just not feeling it. You want to feel something emotionally deep. And you're not, you're not getting it from this person. Maybe it's because they're not involved. It's like there's a total disconnect. So if there has been a breakup or any kind of pain or third party, it looks like most of you have already healed from it. So the biggest thing here is having to pull up your big girl or big boy, you know, pants and make a decision and uh, stop fighting yourself, you know. And really get serious about putting up those boundaries. And so you're the only one. You're the one left with having to make this decision. Right? You're the one in charge of making the decision. If you're ready to move. If you're ready to move on. If you're ready to leave this behind. If you're ready to relocate. If you're ready to start something new. You're holding on to this. So I need you to get clear. On why you're still holding on to this. Why are you holding on to this? Because honestly, I, I don't think this person cares one way or the other whether or not you're there. Unless you're there for fun times, sexy times. Somebody to hang out with. I don't... I mean, I, I guess this person may like you. They may care about you. But it's not on the same level as you. There's a distance there. But even if there's a like or a care there, what bothers me the most is that they're not efforting. Nothing. There's no equal effort. There's no equal give and take. There's no attempts. There's no try there. Mm -mm. And communication, please, if there's communication, it's awful. So why are you holding on to this? Why can't you seem to let go? You're an amazing person over here doing it all on your own, happily happily ever after taking care of yourself and probably your children and your friends and family. Why are you holding on to this person that's not doing anything for you? Ask yourself that. That's all I got to say. Them's the words, them's the messages for today. Like, share, subscribe, join the tribe, check out my other channels here on the YouTubes. Help me grow my homestead self-sufficiency website or excuse me youtube channel links in the description <clears throat> i want something so much better for y'all and you're and you do too and you're saying i know i'm justified by shutting this down there's no effort there's there's no emotional connection or there's no connection at all <clears throat> Why can't I seem to let go of this? Some of you have a hard time, <clears throat> may have a hard time. Maybe you don't want to make that decision. 
Some of you may not want the fallout or the arguments or the disagreements. Some of you, you're just, you just don't want to have to take care of, you know, sometimes we just don't want to be the bad guy. I really don't think it's a problem in this case because most of you are probably separated or a third party or ghost ghosted anyway. But if you're dating this person and there's really not much happening, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Y'all deserve more than that. And you're the only one that can make sure that you get it. So use that Ace of, Ace of Swords wisely. You got to be the one to see why you're still holding on to this or why you're holding back from moving on to something else. I love y'all. Until next time. Namaste.